Friends, what a, what a joy it is to be here in the midst of things, in this holy place. Um, this is an opportunity for me to share a little bit of our vision that has uh, emerged and developed over the last two and a half years or so. The vision that we have discerned under God for this diocese goes in this way. We, as a diocese, long to be a community of Jesus-centred and kingdom-seeking disciples. That's it. But of course that implies so much about the nature, the character of the church. And in that vision that is Jesus-centred and kingdom-seeking, I, I see a church that has older people treasured, treasured as the church of today, not of yesterday. And the same church, the body of Christ, through water and spirit, united in him, one in him, a church in which children are the church of today and not of tomorrow. So there's a need to, to, to shape our strategy in a way that really attends um, to the need to grow the church for God's glory, uh, for the service of the kingdom, um, in ways that enable a new generation to connect. The first strand in our Rejuvenate um, strategy is revive. What does this involve? I think little groups. Uh, we're going to call them cairns, spiritual stones being built together. Small groups, small communities of love where men and women come together to pray, to eat, and to work, to do gospel work. When Mike and I first came to Warsash, the group had been meeting for more than 10 years. So we joined this group of clergy and were able to eat together, meet together, pray together, talk about difficulties, talk about successes. So it was a wonderful time of fellowship. When one of the parishes was in vacancy, the church wardens came instead, and that added to the mix. And then, of course, during the pandemic, several of our churches were in vacancy, so we ended up with more church wardens, and that was so rich and wonderful. So now we have a mixed group of clergy and wardens, and we meet to laugh together and compare notes and to deeply encourage each other and it's been an absolute joy. The next strand of our Rejuvenate strategy is revitalise. What's involved here? Well, we recognise that people don't come to faith, usually, in one immediate moment. But we recognise that people often enter a pathway to discipleship. So Revitalise, in all sorts of different ways, encourages pathways to discipleship. At St Jude's we try to be intentional about giving people a pathway to make their way into membership of the church and so there's got to be places where people can just link up with church, that's our first aim, just to help people to link up with church, then they connect then they encounter Jesus at some event or, uh, or service that, that we put on. And then we want them to grow in the faith and become followers of Jesus. So this is the first step, just linking people to something that happens at church. The next step is to connect them with an event where there will be something of the uh, good news of Jesus explained to them. And then after that, then they might come to some uh, encounter uh, project or program like Alpha and uh, Alpha they will be able to encounter Jesus but it's too much to ask people just straight from the street to come to an Alpha usually so you need to see it as a process as a pathway that people can move along to uh, to meet with God.
the third strand in our rejuvenate strategy is renew. What does this involve? Over the years and in recent years in this diocese and across the country, church plants have brought life and grace and new opportunity for witness and Christian life in places where perhaps the energy had flagged and new, fresh life was needed. So in our Renew strand, we will look at places and have open conversations about revitalising and planting, bringing new life to places where it is particularly needed. people are so inviting and nice. I really love this contemporary um, worship and church plant um, because coming from a non-Church of England background, um, it's really, really special and cool to see um, a traditional Church of England building and setting and contemporary worship happening inside of that. So I really love that marriage. Revive, revitalize, renew. Three strands in one strategy to rejuvenate our life together in Christ, a life which is Jesus-centered and kingdom-seeking in and for the world. <laughs> 